I guess I really don't have much to say in this intro because we just did a Dollar Tree shop with me and I was kind of shocked to see all the Christmas things on the shelves. Yeah, Christmas already on the shelves in Dollar Tree. So of course, now it's time to do a Dollar Tree haul. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. You know how this goes. We do a shop with me. <laughs> we see all the new stuff. And in this case, it was the Christmas and holiday things that are coming in the shelves. So I had a part one preview. I'm gonna do more once the other stuff starts hitting the shelves, like the ornaments and the little presents for stocking stuffers. We'll get there, we'll get there. But for now, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you of all the things that I hauled on my Dollar Tree shopping adventures. I went to about five or six different stores, so I got quite a bit, a little bit of random stuff. So let's get started. I hope you guys are ready for the most random Dollar Tree haul, I think. I've ever done. Lots of this and that mixed in this one today. As I was shopping, they were putting out these really cool napkins, although I'm upset that it's less quantity than before, but they're so cute I couldn't resist. The little leaves on this one, these go in my guest bathroom in my house and some pumpkins. So they had just put these out. So these should be hitting the stores. If you haven't seen them yet, they should be coming. Hopefully they don't get sold out. But I got four of those just to last about a month, right? Maybe not that long because there's not as many in there but we'll see. I like them both. For the Christmas things, I got some of the wood things because now is the time to get it before they sell out. So for Tinker Trays, Tinker Boxes, Play-Doh Kits, these wood shapes are fabulous. We have the stars. The stars were around last year, I believe. Also got the little gingerbread people and they just look like regular people, <laughs> but I thought they'd be great to use in those boxes. And I don't remember these last year. I think they're new. And then a package of the trees. They kind of look like Christmas trees. And Let's see, some mini trees too. I feel like I got these last year as well. While I was there in that section, I'm gonna try these DIY craft kits. They have one, two, three, looks like four, five different pieces and like this longer wood plank that they go onto. So we're gonna paint these and then create our own little scene. I actually got two of them, one for each of my kids. I should have got three because I think I wanna do one myself. And besides the wood stuff, I got some soap. This actually comes with the soap. It's a little dispenser. Don't know if that's good soap, but it's really cute. I got the snowman one. Lots of kids stuff too. These little craft kits are new. They had a couple different styles. I only got two different ones. We have the DIY macrame feathers and the macrame cactus. So if you watched my haul, I don't even know what it was, but over on Instagram, I showed you the results of when we did these for a toy test, or maybe it was, no, it wasn't a toy test. It was, um, it was just a regular haul. And then I showed them, oh, I put them in an activity Kit. That's what it was. And then I showed them on Instagram. They worked great. So there are some macrame kits in the craft section that are amazing. These aren't the same brand. This is Creative Kids. So we're going to try them out. Dollar Tree Toy Test probably. So we got two of these different styles. They also had maybe one or two other craft kits. I'd have to watch my shop with me to remember. These are new too. So we have Creative Cupcakes, Space Explorer, and Castles. Some more Dollar Tree Toy Test finds. Brand new. And they had a couple other different styles. So this one is a sand kit with some molds. It says three molds. We have dough with two molds and a tool. We have sand with three sands and three molds. So I got two different sand ones. I don't know if I meant to do that, but this one I think might have different colors. But if it's good and the quantities are worth it, you guys, it might be worth it for a small sensory bin. We will see. Coco Melon finger paint set. Dollar Tree has some really great finger paint in the craft section. So I know that's excellent. So I don't have very much expectations for this one, but since it's a new item, we'll try that out for that toy test too, as well as this DIY gem art kit, which is very similar to diamond painting. And if you don't know what diamond painting is, you are missing out if you are one of those crafty people, but we'll talk all about this in our Dollar Tree toy test. So we'll put those in that. And then some more things we have kitten play set and puppy play set. And we'll use these for some tinker kits coming up too. So if you see these at the store and you follow along with my tinker boxes, my invitation to play boxes, my dough kits, I call them so many different things. I never know what I'm going to call them. Um, you might want to pick these up and follow along with some ideas because I think these are going to go pretty fast. So this one just has two cats, a little cage, and they're basically the same thing. They're just one has two cats and one has two dogs. Every now and then we see these little dough kits. They're from the same brand that does the Dollar Tree Play-Doh. This one is the birthday one. And in my shop with me, I showed you all the kits that are available. I got this one because it has the molds in it and some cookie cutters. And we're going to test this one out. I'm just curious on how those molds actually work. All right, we have a new card pack. We have 
cat out of the bag card game, slap it and talk it out. So three different card games in here. We'll go over all of them in that toy test video too. I'm excited to try this out because I actually think this is a new selection. I don't think this is one they've had before. Getting crafty. Not really, not yet. I always say I'm gonna be crafty and then it just sits there. You guys try to motivate me for my crafting channel yet I don't do it. I want to so bad. Okay, so this actually isn't for me. This is air dry clay. We're gonna be building a mission, fourth grade mission project here in California and you can use clay. So this is air dry clay that you can mold and manipulate to help build the parts of the mission. Um, we probably won't actually build the mission itself, but we'll build use this to build some of the other parts like we did do a cross, for example. So I think this said, yeah, it did. It said um, no kiln or oven needed, dries hard and paintable when dry and easy to smooth. So if you've worked with this, let me know if you have any tips or if it's good. It feels nice and soft when I kind of play with it on the outside. I got four just in case. I don't think we'll need that many, but these are a pretty good size. I mean, I think they're kind of big for what you get. Also in the craft section, I got some lobster claw pieces. We're kind of putting together a jewelry making kit. And this week we're actually going to a class for making some jewelry. So I wanted to get these just to put in our kit. 12 pieces of the lobster claws. I've seen the O-rings is what they're called, I think. And I have some of those too. So because I saw them, I just got them to have on hand. We have a package of glue sticks. Do these look different to you? Because they are different packaging. Jot is changing the look. Very crafty look, by the way. I wanted to try them out. This is like your purple dupe your purple glue dupe and if it works just as well then i might start buying this what do you think if you tried this jot glue or not i'm probably gonna test it out and see if it's the same as the elmer's purple school glue some new erasers i know the jot packaging is different but i'm not sure if these erasers have been available before we have some watermelon dinosaurs foxes balloons these are going to be part of our geocaching kits so we'll give these away as prizes in our geocaching Ashes. Also in the office section, I wanted to try out the permanent markers. Um, if these work just like regular Sharpies, I'll be super impressed. Rainbow colors, we're gonna try them out. They look pretty. I like the purple. We'll see. In the teacher section, I did get some wall borders only because I have an idea for some activities to do with this and then ones that are similar to this. So I'm going to try that out and probably make an Instagram reel on it. Did get a couple of tissue paper packages. You saw me get these recently and I have since used those ones that I bought. So I'm replenishing just generic ones. Just, you need the generic to have on hand, right you guys? So you have them when you need a present to wrap. And so this one has the balloons. This one just says like, happy birthday, time for cake. And then your basic blue and red colors. I just need this stuff on hand because I'm always needing it and I don't have time to go to the store when I need it. So if I have it, I'm good to go. Also got this really fun, I don't know, it has these really cute things on it. Like fear less. You you are gold, you are powerful, hello, hey. It's just really, really cute. And then this one is a teacher one that says best teacher ever. And I'm holding on to this for when we do teacher presents. Bubble mailers, such fun stuff in this haul, you guys. But I got two packs of the bubble mailers in the craft paper kind. I got the poly kind last time. Also picked up two hardware storage cases. We use these for those tinker boxes. Love these, they are such good quality. Love that they're all divided it out and these make great dough kit boxes. Does this one not close? Oh, there we go. Not very well. Make sure yours close. Mine isn't closing very well, but I got two of those to have to make more videos for you guys. How can I forget these guys? These are really, really cool. In fact, I got a couple of them. They're in the craft section. I got a couple different sizes. So we have this one right here, and then we have this one that's more, it's a little smaller, but longer, a little smaller. I've got two of each, I think. They call them horizontal burlap bag. They have this little handle on the top, and they open up pretty wide. It's pretty big. I actually Actually use them as my Dollar Tree shopping bag because in California you have to buy your bags so I just use them as my shopping bags but they have this kind of burlap feel over them and I, they feel like they're plastic with the burlap feel over them my initial thought was to be able to decorate them with vinyl but I'm not convinced it's actually going to stay if you've tried this you will have to let me know but if that doesn't work I just thought these would be really amazing gift bags either way because they look really nice and they're actually gonna be usable over and over again Again. So a couple of those in two different sizes, but while I was there, they also have the canvas bags in white. So you can see kind of the size difference here. So I have four of those. These definitely will hold the vinyl, right? I'm pretty sure they will. They're called tote bags. And I only saw one size of these, but they are a nice size. Now, usually at Dollar Tree, you have those tote bags that are kind of that polyester blend and you cannot put vinyl on there. You'll melt the fabric, but these 
these are like a cotton fabric. Is there a, let me see, does it say what they're made out of anywhere? No tag, but they do feel like a, a cotton kind of bag. It has examples on here for tie dyeing too. So they'd probably be great for that. Decorating with fabric markers would probably work well with these kids party favors. Lots of ideas, but be on the lookout for those if you are the crafty person. Okay, we're gonna have to try this. <laughs> it's a decorative pillow cover and it's actually reversible. I got this kind of beigey one. It says grateful, thoughtful, blessed on it. You can actually feel the material here in this little cutout in the packaging and it felt pretty decent. And then the other side, it says it's reversible. The other side is a chocolate brown. So this is actually pretty nice considering people are making these on their own and it costs 10 times as much. So I'm thinking this can go over an already existing pillow we have. It's gonna save a lot of money and time trying to make one on my own. So $1.25, it's worth a shot, right? We have some new socks. Look how cute these are, little soccer balls on it. That'd be great for my soccer star. These come in three different ones to the package. The kids' largest size, because my kids, these rent small, generally, the Dollar Tree socks do. So they're growing, so I need the bigger sizes. Someone in my house had a cold, so we need to replenish our little travel Kleenexes. Probably cheaper to get a bigger package at Walmart, but I was there, so I got them. We have some more wet wipes, because we we ran out because the kid was sick. In the hardware section, we got some nylon cable ties. These come in different colors and different sizes. These are gonna go to the garage to have on hand for when we need them. A package of Smarties because Smarties. Got these last time too, they were great. And a package of plastic spoons for school lunches. If you like this video, another one's gonna pop on the screen. I will see you over there next. Go ahead and click on it to watch it. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.